Scott Shannon from Creative Chaos in Tennessee, and we are back with another Shake It, Scrap It, Create It. I cannot believe that this is the first of December, y'all. Like, where has the year went? We only have four more Shake It, Scrap It, Create It, and we will be done for the whole year. Like, what even? So, if you've played along every week, all year long, which I think maybe only one person has. I'll have to check with her. But you would have created 52 layouts, which for some of y'all, that may be, oh well, that's nothing. And for some of y'all, y'all would be like, wow, that's a lot. <laughs> so, um... It's just something I thought up to keep you creative, using your items, make you think outside the box. It's not about being the craft police. You can always substitute stuff. Some of y'all don't even have the things that get drawn. And I have been in the position this year where I didn't have something um, that was drawn. But I made do and worked it out to be creative. And that's what it's about. So, today is um, kicking off December, and I have so much in store for you guys this month. Um, there's going to be a massive giveaway at the end of the month. You have to comment on every video all month long, um, and I am going to have lots of embellishments that I'm going to be giving away. I am going to have, like I said, some major... A major one at the end of the month to give away. So, come back and stay tuned um, and watch. Join the Facebook group and see what's going on over there. There's also challenges and things to win over there. Um, but, um, for me, I really don't even care about the giving things away and winning. Um, I know that you guys enjoy it and like getting the pieces and it doesn't take me any time at all just to create an extra to give away. But my big thing is getting to know you guys, forming that relationship. I have made some great crafty friends um, through my YouTube channel. And now my Facebook group where we can actually talk and interact and get on Zoom and do challenges. And you guys inspire me as much as I inspire y'all. So... All that to say, happy December. <laughs> Come over and join the Facebook group. And I hope that you guys get to play along. So, I am going to do a really quick layout. This week's prompts, I don't even think I said, were black, edge distressing, and washi tape. So, this is pictures of, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you know, this is old Pippers. Um, Pip is a cat that I did not know I needed when I needed him. Um, he has brought me so much joy and so much headache. <laughs> he drives me crazy most days. Um, and he just turned a year old in... I think the end of May, he was a year old. Um, so, but this was his first Christmas, and he absolutely loved all of the lots and the glitter and the tree and the presents. And any time a box was open, this was actually on Christmas morning. Um, whenever we were opening presents, I like to wrap my kids' presents in other things. Um, other boxes or bags or whatever and then put it in something else for them to open so i had wrapped their presents in this crystal box and um it was oh they had got the stuff out of it and of course pip sees an empty box pip's gonna get in it so that's exactly what he did and he was so cute i was like look at my little present so I had to take his picture, and he's so sweet. He was literally just chilling and posing, and he didn't care. He wasn't trying to get out or anything. But he is a stinker for sure. So I've already I found a folder. I'm just starting to pull my Christmas stuff out because I keep it packed away separately. 
I pulled it out and I had a page protector um, that I stored scraps, scrap Christmas paper in last year. So I just had some scraps. So what I did was I just pulled some scraps out. You can see these are literal scraps. They're not even cut straight. Um, and this one I went ahead and just put around this picture since this was the closest one up of him. I wanted it kind of to be the focus. And then I just glued the other ones down and put it around it. So this is already together. I did distress the edge on this. I'm going to take my edge distressor and just do the rest. I'm using um, black cardstock background. So that's my black card. And then this one's my edge distressing that I'm doing. And... I have some washi tape that I did pull out. Uh, it's not my favorite to use washi. And I tend to not use it, but I need to be better about it. Y'all know I did that big clean out and got rid of most all of it. I have a few things left. Okay, so I'm just going to hit the edge on this. Also... Hope that you guys all had a great Thanksgiving um, with your family and your friends. And I know for some of you guys, Christmas is not a happy time. And I can relate. Um, it took me a while to get back to being myself and looking forward to Christmas because... Um, my grandma and my stepdad um, both passed away on January 2nd and January the 5th. So, actually one was January 3rd and one was January 5th. They passed away two days apart um, in the same year. <laughs> and it was a lot. Um, and I made it. So... Um, I know a lot of you guys have lost family around that time. They were both in the hospital through November and December. So all the holidays were spent um, dealing with all of that. It was a lot. Um, and I know that it's hard. So I believe me when I say I understand that it's hard. And you may not be happy about Christmas and the holidays. But... Um, you learn better ways to cope, and it does get better. You never stop missing them. Um, but, um, you, you just learn better ways to cope. It was a couple dark years, and, for me, but, I'm finally back. And this year, I'm really excited about Christmas. Um, even the past couple years have been kind of, eh. But... I'm excited to do all the things. Alright. But you are not alone. No matter what. Even if you feel like you are. Um, you are not. There are other people out there who understand exactly what you're dealing with and going through. Like I said, really easy, really simple um, page. So put a scrap here, a scrap here. This was a scrap, this was a scrap. Just put the pictures, I cut them down to four by four. And I have this title, it says Christmas Vibes. It was made by Sharon Piper. And I think I'm just going to put it on with some foam. Um, here it is. It's been fun um, digging all of my Christmas embellishments out that I packed away last year because I um, 
got some swaps back that they it was Christmas themed, but they weren't due till January. And so I got them back in like January or February or something like that after Christmas. So I really didn't even look at them very well. I just kind of stuck them in my stuff that I had packed away. So it's been fun pulling them out and looking through them this year. And I'm like, ooh, I got that. That's where this came from. It came out of that. So I really like it. So thank you, Sharon. I love it. And then I'll probably just journal and put this was Pip's first Christmas or something like that. Oh, I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna put that run that washi down through here. But that's okay. I'll just I'll just pull it up. It is foam tape, so it does come up pretty easy. And this tape is not that sticky and I got rid of most of all of it but I kept this one because it was glittery so I'm just gonna run a little piece of or a little bit of glue on there just so it'll help hold it down and then same thing on this I think Accidents happen. You can usually take your glue eraser too and just rub it off. Okay. Yay! I got all the glue off. You can't even tell. And then hold on to it better. <laughs> Alright. So I'm going to put this back down. And now it's on there and I used washi tape I used black and I did edge distressing on everything so that is going to be the layout and like I said I'll probably put it's Pip's first Christmas down here in the year um but I think it turned out really cute there's old Pip that y'all love um so now we need to roll for next week's prompts I'm going to grab our jars, and these are going to have to be refilled probably next week. I think this one has two in it. I'm going to pull these apart because they're stuck together, and then I'll put them back in. Okay, so this one was shapes, colors, numbers. And if y'all can think of any prompts we didn't do this year um, that y'all would like to do next year or like for any of these categories feel free to send it to me the number five so you could use five enamel dots five photos five whatever the actual number five techniques and tools it's totally up to you it's just to get you thinking and creative with the prompts and then this one is Fussy cutting. Oh no. Some of y'all are going to be mad. <laughs> I love fussy cutting. Some people call it fussy cussing. Okay. Embellishments. Oop, about knocked all my drawers off the table. And die cut. So a die cut, the number five, and fussy cutting are our prompts for next week. So, um, if you would like to have your photo of your card, your layout, your junk journal page, whatever you create using these prompts featured, um, all you have to do is send them to me either on Facebook or by email listed below in the description box. Also, stay tuned at the end of this video to see what everyone else created with these prompts. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I'm excited for this month. Um, I hope that you guys are excited and ready to get crafty and in the holiday spirit. And until next time, bye y'all!